1966, I was born at the former Providence Hospital and went to the former South School Elementary. And after moving away for a while, which included my time in the military, I, I found myself back to what I consider my true home. It's right here in Beaver Falls. For over 22 years, I proudly served as a police officer for the city, and eight of those which I served as your chief of police, and now nearly three years as your city manager. Throughout my time as a police officer, I saw the city at its very best, and unfortunately, I've seen it at its worst. But you know, through it all, I've always cherished that special resilience and that passion that the people of this town has, regardless of what is happening or what people have to say about this town we love. I, like many of you, could have given up and I could have moved away from here a long time ago. But I believe the good Lord put a special affinity and love for this community. And I, once again, like many of you, are committed to staying here and making this place the best that it can be. Now, if I, over, after 22 years of being a police officer, can still see the beauty of this place and its people, my question to you is, why can't you? As I will discuss in a few moments, I found that it's easy to be negative, it's easy to be spiteful and hateful by complaining and pointing fingers, but it's much harder to love your neighbors, and instead of placing blame and pointing fingers, try getting involved in seeking the welfare of our city. We are a strong little city, but like any other big or small city, we have our fair share of challenges ahead of us. But if we really want and desire change and progress, then we must be willing to work hard and prepare for those challenges. The great abolitionist Frederick Douglass once said that if there is no struggle, then there's no progress. And this is where we are as a city, as we prepare to enter into a new vision with a new hope for our future. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but we are becoming one of the most watched and emerging leaders in this county. In a few moments, again, I will share with you some information about the great work that will be taking place and being planned and implemented in the next several months to the next coming year that will transform not only our downtown, but hopefully entire city will become. So on behalf of the mayor, the members of council, and all of you, it is my pleasure to announce that the state of our city is strong. And we are committed to creating stronger and better partnerships and growing Beaver Falls and restoring her to her newer and much better version of her former glory. I'm very honored once again to have been asked to present this state of uh, city address to you. And may God bless you, and may he always bless the city of Beaver Falls.